And good afternoon, everyone. This is Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, and this is the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Network. From now until 5, we record live, and if you have a radio you want to check out, well, give us a shout. We're recording, and then we'll post it up on YouTube, so everybody can uh, come to YouTube and do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, and that will take you to our QSO Vlog page. And also today, uh, we're running uh, four Internet SDR fire tablets, monitoring Rochester, New York, Atlanta, Georgia, Alexandria, Virginia, and uh, Milford, uh, PA. Uh, trying to get a closer uh, look at uh, some of our 100-watt friends. Uh, and then uh, we have a six-position rotary switch where all of those um, fire tablets audio come up along with our own uh, radio at this location, located near Louisville. And uh, on the local receiver, we're running two 10-foot vertical magnetic loop antennas, one aimed north and south, and the other east and west. And they come in on a three-position rotary switch. And uh, position number three on that switch is a co-phase position where we took, uh, take uh, both of those 10-foot uh, 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 vertical magnetic loops and put them together. Uh, we, we never know for sure what's going to happen when that happens, but uh, it's an option, and, you know, receiving options are the, the name of the game on uh, amateur radio. The more options you have, uh, the better uh, you are. So um, we have uh, ourselves uh, pretty much... Uh, Loaded for bear, hopefully, although uh, the <laughs> this morning and this uh, uh, later afternoon, we did have a couple of rain showers. So, uh, you know, uh, a magnetic loop antenna is a very critically tuned device. And uh, when you have uh, rain showers, there is a possibility and a probability that perhaps those uh, antennas may become detuned because of the rain. And, uh, you know, I checked them out this morning and tuned them uh, to absolute zero SWR on uh, this frequency. But then, you know, the rain comes along and uh, it's hard to tell. So we'll just have to play it by ear, uh, so to speak. And right now we're going to check and see if uh, Charlie uh, K1GZL is on the frequency. Charlie, you there? I'm here, Jim, and your 9 plus uh, 15 uh, dB. Beautiful, beautiful copy. You're right in the room, uh, and I'm copying you direct. Go ahead. Roger, Roger, and I'm copying uh, you on right now Milford, uh, PA. Uh, you're doing about 20 over uh, on the Milford. You're doing about uh, 10 over on my uh, local uh, uh, loop antennas, but I'm getting a better signal on uh, Milford. Roger. Roger. Okay, Roger, Roger. What I'd like you to do, if you could, uh, record me on your uh, on your uh, SDR. Uh, I want to play back just uh, about ten seconds. Ten seconds I made because we have made changes here, and I want to see if uh, everything is uh, the way it should be as far as the audio goes. So let me play this uh, back here right now. Let's see. Position number three on that switch is a co-phase position where we took uh, take uh, both of those. Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> this morning and this uh, uh, later afternoon we did have a couple of rain showers. So uh, you know, a, a magnetic loop antenna is a very critically tuned. Uh, you're doing about 20 over uh, on the Milford. You're doing about uh, 10 over on my uh, local uh, loop antennas, but I'm getting a better signal on the Milford. Roger. Okay, back to you, Jim. How did that all come through? KC9 VKV. Before previous contact, I had no compression when I thought I had some K1Gs at L. Oh, Roger, Roger. Yes, that you know I, the actual signal was about uh, oh about a dB and a half dynamic range, but that is because it's gone through two processings. It goes through my initial process, which uh, comes up at about uh, three dB dynamic range, and then uh, you record and come back through your system, which is uh, another uh, uh, compression. So uh, the uh, end result is about a about a two dB or dB and a half uh, uh, dynamic range audio. But it sounds really nice, Roger. Treasure. Okay, Roger, Roger uh, on that. I might say that uh, 40 to 50 percent of our leaves are now off the trees, and the remaining color is uh, sort of a rustic orange uh, 
a little bit of a yellowish orange uh, there. So winter is approaching, and I do suspect uh, around next Wednesday or Thursday we may have our uh, at least our first bit of snow up here. Uh, Jim, go ahead. Roger, Roger. Yes, uh, moving almost uh, into uh, winter from uh, uh, <laughs> almost no fall. Is it, would that be the picture? Picture. Well, it's been fairly close to normal, except it's been wetter than normal. Down in southern New Hampshire and southwest Maine, it's been very, very dry, very, very dry uh, in the last uh, month and a half, two months, where it has not uh, been dry. It's been normal to a little bit above normal on the uh, uh, rainfall uh, up here. So it, uh, uh, the, the seasons are pro progressing. And it's good to get things done out there before it becomes almost impossible. Go ahead. Oh, Roger that. Roger that. Well, you're sounding really beautiful. Uh, I, I haven't gone to my uh, loops because you sound uh, just so uh, perfect on the Milford, you know, and that's the whole idea about those SDRs is to be able to uh, branch out your antenna system and uh, uh, get better, the best copy you can get on folks. Roger. Roger. Uh, roger, roger, but boy, you're absolutely perfect copy up here. Because you sound uh, just so uh, perfect on the Milford, you know, and that's the whole idea about those SDRs, is to be able to uh, branch out your antenna system and uh, get better, the best copy you can get on folks, roger. Okay, how was that, k one G Z L. Oh, excellent, excellent. You're, you're set up now. That that radio is, is definitely a 7300, roger. It is just absolutely ideal. Deal, Roger. Deal, Roger. Oh, I love this at 7300. Of course, I've made a lot of mistakes. I've made a lot of mistakes in the past, uh, believe it or not, and I still make mistakes. Uh, but uh, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. As far as uh, enjoying a transmitter uh, exciter, it is the best I have ever had in my life, uh, Jim, and I was licensed in 1948. Go ahead. Oh, Roger, yes, I know exactly what you mean. We've probably set up now about 180 7300s, about 180 7300s, and about um, 60 uh, uh, 7610s. So, uh, you know, uh, those radios are just uh, just uh, beautiful. The, the 7300, it would be, you know, dollar for dollar the best buy, I think, Roger. had a Whiskey 3 Golf Tango Romeo. Uh, go ahead. We do have uh, uh, KC9 uh, Victor King Victor. That's Jim. And he does run a program on Fridays uh, at uh, 3.30 to 5 o'clock in the afternoon on this uh, frequency uh, to uh, for people to uh, test out the rigs. And he makes a recording. And within a couple of days, he plays it back. Uh, so uh, a person who uh, did get in on it uh, could, uh, uh, you know, uh, it, it could work out. Let me turn it over to you. I don't know if Jim is going to copy you on the Milford, Pennsylvania, unless you're out in Western PA. So, uh, uh, y'all, yeah, give us a call again if you would. Turn it to KC9, Victor, King, Victor. My own call is K1, George, Zanzibar, London, K1, GZL. My name is Charlie. I'm up in the far northern end of New Hampshire, four air miles from the Quebec border, which is west and northwest of me, and the very northeast tip of Vermont, uh, which is uh, two and a half miles. So go ahead, the third district station. Uh, this is K1 Cheese at L. Again, it's his Whiskey 3 Golf Tango Romeo GTR. My name here is Scott. I'm located in Maryland, right outside of Annapolis. Uh, I have a 7300 too, and uh, right now I'm talking to you on a, a GX3000, but I love my 7300. In fact, I have two 7300s. But I just want to comment on your audio. You're sounding great here in Maryland. Uh, your both your stations that I was listening to are both at 10 over right here in Maryland. So uh, I'll send it back to you. I just want to uh, hop in there and say hello. Okay, uh, Scott, uh, very fun. Uh, your 10 is over. My antenna doesn't favor you too well. Depending where you are in Maryland, if you're out in uh, your Garrett County, 
I'm not too far off you, but if you're way over there near Annapolis, I'm quite a bit off. Where, uh, uh, would you like to hear a little recording of your signal, uh, Scott, I made? And where are you in Maryland? Go ahead. Yeah, sure. I'd love to hear a recording of me. Um, I am located uh, right outside of Annapolis, so I'm in Arundel County, Maryland, and I'm down here on the bay on the West River. Uh, and for your recording, this is Whiskey 3, Golf King of Romeo. Hello. Okay, I'll turn it to Jim, but here's the recording I made. Wait a minute. Okay, over to you, Jim. KC9, VKV, K1, D and all your top and Scott. Oh, Roger, got uh, Scott on uh, Alexandria. Uh, well, I'm not sure it was either Alexandria, Virginia, or my own. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't uh, notice uh, right off. I just uh, I go through this. Uh, I have a six-position rotary switch that has uh, four internet SDR audios on it, plus my own local receiver. And a lot of times, I'm just uh, you know I can scan through those in about a second and a half, and I'm only looking for the hottest signal and and uh, not sometimes paying attention to uh, where it's coming from uh, since it's really not necessary. <laughs> I'm just uh, you know looking for max on that uh, rotary switch. Uh, but I did have to, Charlie, go back to uh, Milford. Um, when you were playing back uh, Scott's uh, audio, uh, it was a much better reception coming out of uh, Milford uh, than uh, uh, local. But anyway, uh, let me uh, go to uh, Scott. Uh, this is uh, Kilo Charlie 9 Victor, Kilo Victor, and this is the uh, QSO Vlog uh, Network for Friday afternoons. We record live uh, till 5. And uh, if, uh, you know, uh, you want to hear what you're ready, sounds like. Uh, come on back and uh, tell me about your antenna system for, uh, you know, 10 or 15 seconds or so. so. 15 seconds or so. 3000 radio with a ha microphone with a Maritron AL80B going out to an inverted V that's about uh, about mm, 50 feet or so up uh, in a tree. Donald and, uh, Trump, I was here. I was thinking about switching Donald over to Trump, it, but my signal might not be as strong Keep because the uh, but um, I'm going to switch over anyway uh, after you come back to me. This is Whiskey 3, Golf King of Romeo. Uh, we have uh, some uh, QRM on the frequency. Sir, this, uh, this frequency is in use. This frequency is in use. This is Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor. And uh, Scott, I copied you and uh, do have that uh, recorded down. And uh, so if you uh, want to uh, go to YouTube uh, later on uh, within the next couple of days and uh, uh, do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, that will take you to our QSO Vlog page. We have about 750 uh, uh, QSOs uh, in that, uh, on that page, or not on that page, but in that group. And uh, hopefully, uh, you'll be looking for uh, a QSO entitled My Group Air Check 10 11 19. My Group Air Check 10 11 19. Roger. Man. Roger that, Roger that. I appreciate that. And I'll definitely check it out. What was the YouTube channel name again? I, that's the only part I did not catch. Uh, someone doubled with you. They have done nothing but had a target. Stand by just a second, Scott. They have just been out to get him. That's it. Out to get him. Oh, with all these pony ass, yeah, a bit of just a one, one made up problem or story or something right after the other, and none of it. Is just seeing if this is the deliberate QRM or what, standby. People of the United States have spoken, they have. He was rightfully voted into office. You guys need to accept that, all right? It's not about you. It's about the people of the United States. They have Stand by, stations. Stand by. They want that bullshit out of this country. If you don't like it here, you can leave. It's just that easy. Sir, would you come back with your call sign? Okay, I am pro-Republican. Away with the free shit. I'm tired of taking care of people who you don't want to take care of themselves. Or no, no. All the lazy, uh, lazy assholes and... This uh, gentleman is having some emotional problems. Government nipple. Hell yeah. Away, away with it. Okay, Jim, I'll tell you what. I'm going to sign and I'll catch you. Roger, Charlie. Uh, sir, the uh, frequency is in use. 
this frequency is in use, sir. Station on there, but I'm afraid he has a problem. He has a problem. Uh, I'll sign uh, 73 for you also, uh, Scott. DC9 DKV. DC9 DK1G Sadell. I'll catch you next Friday, hopefully. Uh, Jim, go ahead. Roger, Charlie. Uh, thanks for dropping by and uh, opening up our show. It's always a pleasure uh, to uh, have your transmissions uh, grace uh, my speaker. <laughs> uh, three Z-Way. Thank you, sir. Uh, and uh, we'll catch you later. And this is uh, Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, the Friday afternoon QSO vlog page. If you have a radio you want to check out the audio, give us a shout. We are recording now live till 5. Uh, station calling, you're slightly off frequency. You're, you're high on uh, frequency. Uh, check your, um, your clarifier. Check your clarifier to make sure that your clarifier is uh, out, off, or at zero, 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 zero. Roger, this is uh, Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, name is uh, Jim, and uh, we are recording uh, now live till 5, and uh, so, uh, you know, uh, come back and with your call sign, sir. Echo Papa Alpha, sir, this frequency is in use. Roger, and uh, are you running about 100 watts or so? Alrighty, I just uh, moved over to the Atlanta, Georgia SDR, and uh, you're doing that uh, SDR about uh, eight over its noise level, sir. And uh, so come back and tell me about your antenna system. Uh, roger that. I'm copying you now at about uh, 3 dB above the uh, Atlanta SDR noise level. What's your uh, location, sir? Roger. I just uh, have a marginal signal right now. You're only about 3 dB above uh, the Atlanta SDR. Try one more time with your call sign, please. Uh, Roger, and what do you think about that uh, antenna? Oh, I like it. It seems to be very well. Roger, and uh, what radio was it that you're running? I'm running a IC 746 Pro for my time, Roger. Oh, Roger that. Okay, I've looked at your audio, and uh, I think uh, on the EQ side, I think you could use uh, maybe a little more top end uh, to uh, get that uh, audio a little more brisk EQ, uh, a little brighter. Uh, I would uh, say uh, two uh, two clicks more on the top end EQ, Roger, Roger. Again, that last transmission was about 2 dB above uh, my uh, local antenna, uh, and that was uh, about 2 dB. So, you know, the problem is uh, when you're down in somebody's noise level, you want as uh, bright an audio signal as you can to help them be able to discern the words you're speaking. When you're in there, somebody's noise level, they can hear you, but it's uh, very difficult to understand what you're saying. So the brighter your audio is, the better chance you have of somebody being able to actually copy the mail, Roger. I only caught the last part of that about the difference. Can you repeat that one more time? Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, you are giving... Uh, right now I'm copying you through the Atlanta SDR.
and you're about 2 dB above the Atlanta SDR noise level, but I could understand the words you were speaking, Roger, because of the increase in your uh, syllabic range at uh, treble EQ, Roger. Okay, I just, I'm just going around on my uh, input selector trying to find the best signal. I'm back on, uh, on my radio now. You know, <laughs> it's uh, strange, but when you have a marginal situation, um, it, uh, it doesn't uh, stay marginal usually on 40. It moves around, and, and since I do run uh, usually four different uh, SDR, uh, Internet SDR receivers, I have noticed that uh, it usually occurs that when it fades out on one, it's, uh, it's shifting and probably will fade up on one of the others. I've uh, kind of tried to create a grid of uh, SDR receivers receivers uh, using uh, Rochester, New York, Atlanta, Georgia, uh, Milford, Pennsylvania, and Alexandria, Virginia. And between those, uh, that grid, I can usually get uh, a lot closer to, uh, say, a 100-watt station than they can directly to me, where, uh, you know, we are in uh, Louisville, Kentucky. So, uh, uh, back to you. Well, I'm going to have to jump out now. I, I have not had a, a really good copy. Maybe later on the conditions will get a little bit better, and uh, I'll be able to copy you better. But it has been uh, a really uh, touch and go. I don't think I even uh, actually got your call sign, so try uh, your call sign one more time. What's your, what's your location? Maybe I can get a uh, SDR closer to you. What, what is your uh, location, sir? Roger. I don't have anything uh, working right now, sir, so let me say threes and uh, uh, maybe we'll try it again later. Let me give you an example. Uh, I'll drop down to 100 watts and uh, uh, let you hear what uh, I'm dealing with. Uh, we're down to 100 watts right now. This is 100 watts. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. 100 watts. And then uh, back to a KW. Roger, roger. And then uh, back to a KW. Roger, roger. Roger. Okay, let me say three, sir, and we'll catch you later. Thanks uh, for trying, and uh, maybe uh, later on we'll be able to uh, uh, to hook up uh, when the conditions get a little bit better uh, coming from your direction. Uh, this is uh, Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor. The Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Network. If you've got a radio you want to check out, uh, give us a shout. KC9VKV. Victor Echo 3, Hotel Mike. vkv There was an Echo 3 station. Victor Echo 3 Station, uh, repeat the last part. Hotel Mike Indian, Mike Golf, Tango Romeo, Maryland. Victor Echo 3, uh, HMI, Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger, good copy here, you're 5 9 plus, I'm in Oakville, Ontario. Roger, who we got there? Being here is Scott. Roger, Scott, I think we may have uh, spoken before. It's possible. It's been about 15 years since I've been on the air. I've just rigged up a wire out the window and a Icon 7300 with Well, you've got the right radio for sure. How long have you had that 7300? A day. <laughs> All right, let me give you uh, a tune-up for that uh, radio. Uh, the ideal tune-up for that 7300 starts with the compressor, engaging the compressor at about a 3. Uh, get that compressor going at about a 3. Uh, roger, roger. Sounds good. I was at 4. I just dropped the 3. I repeat. I was at 4. I just dropped the 3. Oh, 
Yes, sir. Great. Uh, three, is, three is the magic number. You'll never hear it working, but it begins the, uh, the fattening process. Uh, the next thing is uh, go to your uh, ALC and uh, with your mic gain in hand and adjust the ALC to run mid-scale to two-thirds. Uh, on the ALC meter, adjust uh, by using your mic gain control to where the ALC is deflecting mid-scale to two-thirds. Roger. Roger, I had it set a little higher than that probably, so there we got about two-thirds. Already, and uh, I assume you're running the uh, supplied hand mic? At this point, I'm minimizing the expense until I get a better answer. Oh, listen, you'll have to go a long way to beat that hand mic. That um, hand mic is just absolutely ideal for that radio. It's a, an electret uh, hand mic. Uh, the only thing is, when you work that mic, uh, pull it to the side of your mouth and work across it. Do not work uh, straight into it. Uh, you get a lot of mouth noise and, pl and plosives and stuff. But uh, pull it uh, to the side of your mouth and talk across it. Roger. Okay, I'll give that a shot. Does this sound any better? All right, uh, tell me about your antenna system. Ah, uh, Roger that, Roger that. Uh, do you know how to get to your uh, EQ, your tone control? All right, uh, go to uh, tone control, um, go flat. Uh, on your bottom end, uh, plus or minus zero on your bottom end, and go to a plus a three on your top end EQ on the uh, tone control. I was already there. I talked to the buddy across town, and we tweaked that up the uh, late last night. Roger. So you're flat uh, on the bottom end and uh, plus uh, three on the top? Excellent, excellent. Now, the, uh, what you really want to do, uh, uh, you know, uh, that, like I said, that hand mic is, is excellent, but if you have a chance, uh, go by one of your local music stores and pick up a foam windscreen. They uh, make them uh, only about three inches long now, and it'll slip right over that uh, hand mic and uh, will be the uh, crowning glory to your audio, Roger. Alrighty, and that, uh, <laughs> we got you going there. Uh, why don't you, if you get a chance, uh, drop by uh, next uh, Friday and uh, uh, let me know how everything's uh, going, Roger. Sounds good. I'm going to go off and run a few errands. I got a good boom in S9 plus signal. I go, let's try it. You're a good distance off, and obviously uh, my little length of wire is working well. All right, give me your call sign one more time. It's Victor Echo Hotel. Roger Scott. Okay, sir. And uh, just a reminder, we are recording, and uh, we will be uh, placing this uh, on YouTube in the next uh, couple of days. So if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, that will take you to our QSO Vlog page. And uh, on that page, uh, you'll be looking for a QSO entitled My Group Air Check. 10 11 19 which is today's date my group air check 10 11 19 roger roger on that that's that'll give me something to do on the weekend as the weather is turning sour here i appreciate the tip um i always appreciate a good contest but this is the way of chris montana on the same place 73 here kilo 39 victor kilo victor echo 3 with all my kids Roger, Roger, Scott, and uh, we were receiving you on uh, one of our 10-foot uh, uh, magnetic uh, vertical loop antennas. We have uh, two 10-foot uh, vertical uh, magnetic loop antennas. One is uh, uh, oriented uh, north and south. The other is oriented east and west. And uh, so we can choose between them and or we have a third position, which is a cophase position, where we bring both of our uh, magnetic loops uh, together uh, and uh, cum the, uh, the, the whatever <laughs> there is, you know. It's un kind of unpredictable, the cophase position, because, you know, it's, it's difficult to say since uh, they're oriented uh, 90 degrees to each other. But uh, the idea is 
is uh, another option for reception. And uh, many times uh, that uh, cophase position winds up being hotter than uh, position one or two by themselves. So uh, Scott will say threes for now. You have a great uh, afternoon and a great weekend. And if you get a chance, uh, check back in uh, next uh, Friday and uh, let me know how you're doing. Uh, roger, roger. This is uh, Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, and this is the Friday Afternoon Kiso Vlog Network. If you've got a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Alrighty, I thought I heard somebody back in there. We are uh, just going through our internet SDRs. Uh, uh, come back and uh, try it again. This is KC9 VKV. I'm copying somebody very faintly on the uh, Milford uh, PA SDR. I come back and uh, let me see if I can get a call sign. Charlie. Kilo 2, Lima, Lima, Charlie. Uh, Lima, Lima, Charlie. Uh, I'm copying you on the Atlanta SDR. Uh, come back with the, f the first part of that call sign, please. Uh, good afternoon, Jim. Kilo 2. Kilo 2, Lima, Lima, Charlie. Kilo 2, Lima, Lima, Charlie. And what's the name? The name is Linwood. Lima, India, November. Whiskey, Oscar, Oscar, Delta. Linwood. Roger, Roger. And what's your location, sir? I'm located in the central portion of Virginia, Jim. And uh, when you first started, your signal was great, and now it's just sort of just the nature of 40. But uh, I'm in the central portion of Virginia, and uh, I'm running just a little bit of compression uh, and wanted to know if it was, it sounded to you like if it was enough or I needed a little bit more or I had too much. Uh, well, let's see here. I would suggest uh, engaging your compressor at about a three. Uh, you know, uh, you can you can run uh, uh, you know all the way up on the compressor, and it's really not going to do much else except uh, suck up between the words, which you don't want to do. A properly adjusted compressor will will be something that you never hear. So uh, what I suggest would be that you uh, you engage your compressor at about a three. That's our recommended level, about a three. Roger. Roger, boy, your signal came way up just now, uh, and that's about where I had it, um, and so uh, I'm hoping my signal is better to you at this point, and, uh, it, and what your thoughts are at this point, uh, KC9, DKV, K2, LLC. Roger, Linwood. Uh, next, I would go to my uh, ALC meter with my uh, mic gain in hand and adjust my ALC to, uh, 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 let's see, about mid-scale to two-thirds. Adjust your ALC level by using your mic control to uh, mid-scale to two-thirds. Roger, roger. Uh, roger, there is a, okay, there's that, uh, uh, about uh, mid-scale right there, uh, Jim. Uh, roger that, roger that. Now, come back and uh, tell me about your antenna system. Uh, Jim, I have an 80-meter Wyndham antenna uh, that runs basically east to west. The, uh, the longer portion is on the east side, while the short portion is on the west side. Uh, roger that, roger that. Okay, I looked at your audio, and you're running a, about a 3 dB dynamic range, which uh, for those settings is expected, and your average uh, peak modulation is uh, between 80 and 85 percent. Roger. Thank you so much. Okay, well, I appreciate you taking the time to uh, to listen in there, and I uh, made these adjustments, So, uh, and I appreciate it, and I uh, hope you have a, a great rest of your day, and uh, thanks again for uh, for everything you're doing. KC9, DKV, K2, LLC, 73, Blue Sky. Roger, roger. Thank you, sir, and uh, you have a real good uh, afternoon, a great weekend, and uh, if you get a chance, uh, drop back by next Friday. And uh, to the other gentleman that's uh, keying, sir, this frequency is in use. This is uh, KC9VKV and the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Network. Yeah. Sir, the frequency is in use. Whiskey Alpha 3, Lima X-ray Delta. 
Uh, X-ray Delta Station, uh, come back with your call again, please, sir. Three Lima X-ray Delta. Uh, Roger, Roger. And what's the name, sir? Roger, what's the name, sir? The name here is Dave Delta Alpha Victor Echo, and we're in Central Florida. Oh. Station. The uh, uh, stand by just a second, uh, uh, Dave. We have somebody that's obviously uh, more mouth than uh, ears, sir. This frequency is in use. The frequency is in use. All right, Dave, uh, go ahead, sir. Uh, what uh, antenna are you running? I'm running an NFED long wire antenna up about uh, 70 feet, about 134 feet long. Uh, match on that to a one-to-one -one balance. Uh, Roger, and uh, what radio are you running, sir? Uh, All righty, and I um, looked at your audio, and you could uh, be a little fatter if uh, we usually recommend uh, running that uh, compressor at about a three. Engage your compressor at about a three. That is the beginning of the uh, fattening process. It's uh, not a great deal, but it does exactly what it's supposed to do uh, as far as uh, setting up the audio for processing. Uh, so, uh, again, the uh, compressor uh, would be uh, at about a three, Roger. Roger, uh, we have it at uh, three. We're running the uh, SM50 desk mic with it. And uh, we're running the ALC uh, pretty close to three quarters or so. All righty. Uh, I would go to my EQ, and I would crank in uh, about uh, 3 dB top end EQ. About uh, 3 dB... Uh, top end uh, treble control uh, push on your tone control, Roger. Okay, it's set to three right now. I can push it up some more. Uh, push it up. Uh, uh, what, you got two more left? Uh, Roger. Yeah, go ahead and hit those. Uh, go on up uh, two more and uh, then uh, talk to me for a minute. Uh, two on that, WA3LXD. Oh, gosh, sounds like FM. <laughs> that sounds really good. Uh, Dave, uh, we're also suggesting something else. You know, um, the, the person's voice, uh, although it can be processed uh, mightily, they have the ability to control uh, their voice uh, to some degree, which uh, helps uh, the processing along. And one of those things is to be able to see the actual amplitude of your voice as you speak. And uh, so what we recommend is that uh, if you have a watt meter, kind of turn that watt meter so you can see it as you're speaking. And if you look at that watt meter, it's a fairly accurate example of the amplitude of your, of your voice. So the idea is to watch the meter as you speak and try to keep the meter as hot in the, uh, in the uh, favorite uh, sweet spot as uh, possible. Roger? That's a great idea. Um, sometimes I look at the ammeter and uh, kind of uh, that uh, I find to be a little bit more responsive, but uh, good idea. Roger. Yes, I'm uh, sitting, I've got 50 years looking at VU meters. Uh, I have a 50-year career in, in broadcasting. And uh, now, even even as a ham radio operator, I have a VU meter that's uh, showing me my level and uh, your level. And uh, so I'm just, uh, you know, constantly pretty much watching that all the time. And it does uh, help me if I happen to pull off mic like that, uh, I can see immediately that meter just uh, falls off. So, you know, I can't Come right back to it, Roger, Roger. That's a great idea. So how am I looking now to you? Looks good. Looks good. I wish I had a better better signal on you, but uh, I do have uh, copying about, uh, looks to be about 4 dB over the Atlanta SDR noise level. Roger. Okay. Well, I'm 
getting a little help from the noise with only 4 dB, but I can take all the help I can get here. I'm just running uh, no amplifier, um, about 90 watts or so. Oh, Roger. Well, I tell you, uh, you are brave navigating uh, the 40 meter band without an amp. <laughs> the 40 meter band uh, has not been kind uh, lately, uh, you know, and that's uh, unfortunate because, uh, you know, uh, like 100 watts at 400 miles, uh, usually you're going to be coming into somebody's station at about 2 dB above somebody's noise level on 40 average wise. Although, you know, if there are conditions prevailing, good conditions prevailing, uh, you could take that same 100 watts and 400 miles and be uh, 20 over, Roger. about what it was uh, 50 years ago when I started this. Roger, Roger. Well, you know, things are cyclical. Just like uh, Mother Nature and the and deserts uh, today, uh, you know, will be uh, lush forests perhaps in 20 years, and uh, the forest, the lush forest, will be uh, deserts perhaps in 20 years. Just because Mother Nature is where she is at the moment doesn't mean that things are going to uh, stay that way, Roger. that. Well, at least with this new technology, I don't have to worry about uh, melting the solder on my four CX 250s. <laughs> hey, Roger, that. All right, well, listen, let me say uh, threes to you, and if you get a chance, uh, check back in next Friday, Roger. Roger, Roger. Thanks for the help and the uh, setup. I uh, really appreciate it. This is WA3LXD73. Well, Roger, uh, what was your location again, please? Uh, Dave, if you can still cut a copy, what's your uh, location? What's your uh, location? I'm sorry, uh, if we had somebody else come in there. Central Florida, four four four. Are you copying me? Central Florida, Roger, Dave. Uh, thank you, sir. Three is that way. And have a good afternoon, great weekend. And there's another station calling, KC9 VKV. Other station, go ahead. This is November 1, COC. November 1. Uh, John, I've got you. Come back uh, phonetically with your call sign, please. Check. It's November 1, Charlie, Oscar, Charlie. Combat Operations Center. November 1, Charlie. Oscar, Charlie, yes, phonetics help uh, a great deal. You know, sometimes uh, C's, D's, and V's, they all sound the same, Roger. Yeah, that's for sure. I usually try it uh, once or twice. But, uh, yeah, you're, uh, you must uh, be having a nice amount of uh, amps and uh, sort of that you're coming in uh, boom and clear. I'm on a uh, Kenwood 480 stat at 100 watts with 134 foot instead uh, half weight up about 12 feet if you can believe that and uh, with a 49 to 1 uh, uh, match on it what was the match again i'm using a uh, 49 to 1 uh, match just uh, uh one of the 49 to 1 on a I never heard of quite that uh, ratio. Uh, what <laughs> what kind of SWR are you running with that setup? Well, uh, I get uh, 80, 40, 20, 17, uh, 15, and uh, 12. I get uh, less than two to one across the entire band plus. I'm a little off resonance uh, on all of them because I'm just a little long still. So I could move uh, the resonant point up, and I just haven't gotten around to shortening the antenna. On 60, I happen to switch in another wire about uh, 85 or 87 foot long, but I'm not using any tuner except a little 3 or 5 to 1 that's in the 480. Roger, I don't even know where th where 30 and 60 are. <laughs> I have no no concept of uh, th 60 meters or 30 meters. Uh, I, I never go there, Roger. Uh, 
but uh, 16 8 need to do better. Roger, Roger. All right, uh, John, uh, conditions are kind of shifting around a little bit. I'm starting to get a lot of noise with you. So let me say threes for now. And uh, if uh, you get a chance, uh, you want to hear your audio, uh, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, that will take you to our QSO V-like page. And uh, on that page, uh, you'll be looking for a QSO entitled My Group Air Check. 10 11 19 today's date my group air check 10 11 19 roger roger Roger, John, three that way, sir. Have a good afternoon. Uh, this is KC9VKV. We are uh, running our QSO VLOG network uh, for Friday, and uh, we are recording from now until 5. Uh, so if you've got a radio you want to check out, give us a shout. KC9VKV. There was a Delta... Um, gosh, I'm not sure. Station Delta and the call sign come back. There's a Delta Sugar Victor, I guess. Uh, come back uh, and uh, repeat the call one more time for sure. And where is uh, Zero Land? Zero Land is in Missouri, in the middle of the United States. Kilo November 4, Bravo, Quebec Alpha. Station, stand by. Uh, we are engaged in a QSO with uh, Kilo Charlie Zero and, uh, and Delta Sugar Victor. Is that a Roger? Roger, Roger. I didn't ha didn't have the middle thing in my uh, my E, and it looked like a C. <laughs> All right, uh, let me see if I can find a better listening post. Uh, come back and give me about ten seconds uh, talking about your antenna or something, Roger. Roger, I am using the uh, window. Uh, gosh, uh, still only copying you at just a couple of dB above my noise. Uh, uh, what's the name again? What is the name, pl please? Roger, David, I got you there. And what radio are you running, sir? Ah, uh, gosh, you're down into my noise level again. Uh, let me uh, drop down to, uh, I'll go down to 100 watts so you can see where you are here. Uh, we're down to 100 watts, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is 100 watts, uh, David, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And, and now we're back to your KW. Roger, roger. Roger, roger. Yeah, when you drop down to 100 watts, you drop way down into my noise for that time. Roger, I just wanted you to know what I'm dealing with. <laughs> uh, what, radio, what radio did you say you're running? I didn't copy that. Uh, try one more time, David. What radio are you running? That's uh, Kenwood 590. Is Roger, Roger. All right, uh, you are even with my noise level. You are even with my noise level. So this will be an experiment, David. Uh, I want you to set your compressor at a three. I want you to set your compressor at a three. Roger, roger. Uh, David, I'm assuming that you did set your compressor at a 3. Now I want you to move to your ALC. Move to your ALC and adjust your ALC for mid-scale to two-thirds. Maybe a little bit hotter towards two-thirds than mid-scale. But uh, not, not in the red, but uh, uh, mid-scale to two-thirds, leaning on the two-thirds uh, uh, reading. Roger, roger. The world is not 
with the AOC. I'm going to have to look that up after we get off, get off of this sheet, though. Roger, AOC is... Um uh, your um, your meter. You should have a, a, a multimeter selector switch. You should have a multimeter selector switch, and ALC will be one of the positions on the uh, selector switch for your multimeter. Roger. Roger. I just don't know which one, but Roger, Roger. All right, the next thing I would do would be to go to my EQ, my tone control, and I would add about uh, four clicks on the top end audio. I would add about four clicks of treble boost on your audio. Whatever it is now, add three. Roger. Roger. Add four clicks on top of the EQ of the audio. Roger. Add, do you know where your, how to get to your uh, EQ control? Well, anyway, David, uh, those are items for you to uh, work on uh, when you uh, figure out how to get there. Uh, I'm not sure if you're doing that now because I, you have slipped uh, under my noise <laughs> at this point. So I, I do not have a good copy. So uh, I'll, I'll leave you with, with that to work on. And uh, then when you, uh, when you get all that cranked in, uh, give me a shout uh, again. And uh, maybe we'll have some better conditions at that point. Roger. Roger. What's your name, sir? Name here is Jim and Juliet India Mike, and the call is Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, and we are located near Louisville, Kentucky, just across the Ohio River from uh, Louisville. Roger. Roger, Roger. I will, I will do what you've asked me to do. I'll get back to you maybe later this afternoon before 5 o'clock. Roger, David. We are uh, run till 5. Uh, you might also check your frequency to see if your clarifier is on. You sound just a little bit low. You sound just a bit low, uh, just a little bit low frequency. And uh, you could have your clarifier on, which uh, would do that. Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. I'll get that check as well, sir. Roger. It's not, it's not anything major, but uh, you are just uh, uh, sounding slightly low. All right, uh, David, three is to you, sir. And uh, if you get a chance uh, to crank all that in, give me a shout back. This is a Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, and the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Network. If you've got a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. KC9 VKV. Kilo Charlie 3, Echo Papa something? Echo Papa Alpha, like Environmental Protection Agency. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> and what's the name? Uh, David, like the guy that killed Goliath. Roger, Roger. Well, we just spoke to David. You're David too. Roger, Roger. <laughs> you said, well, now, listen here. I'm either talking to myself or somebody's stolen my identity. Well, they can have my identity. I just wanted a signal report based on the conditions. You know, you never can tell what the conditions are. Uh, I just wanted to know if the audio was okay. That's about it. Roger, Roger. Well, I am copying you on my uh, north-south... Uh, Yes, my north-south 10-foot uh, uh, vertical magnetic loop, and uh, you're giving me uh, an 8 over my noise level. Uh, come back and uh, talk to me uh, for about 10 or 15 seconds about your antenna system so I can listen to your audio a little bit better. Yeah, I'm running a uh, MFJ 1979 uh, extended to 5 meters in a mobile, uh, and... Uh, that's what I use. I don't drive with it because, uh, you know, I could, like, take down telephone poles or something like that. Roger, David. Well, you're, uh, you're giving me uh, 10 over my noise level. You're giving me 10 dB over my noise level. Uh, your audio is uh, pretty uh, upper-edged, mid-rangey. Uh, I would suggest... Uh, do you have EQ on that radio? Yeah, well, what I do is instead of talking directly into the microphone, I keep it about six inches from my mouth and turn it at 90 degrees. 
degrees. That way it really doesn't sound too tinny, but I can rotate it 180 degrees here and put it right to my mouth. Uh, well, uh, I tell you what, to try the 90 degrees part is good, but to pull it right to your mouth, uh, right to the side of your mouth uh, at 90 degrees, and let me hear you. Okay, I got it right to the side of my mouth. My tongue touched it, I'm licking it. And uh, all I have on here is a speech compressor, no, no, uh, no adjustments unless I go inside the unit, which I want. Uh, Roger, you don't have EQ on that radio? Alenko doesn't have much at all. Alenko has spare bones and a couple of chicken bones to spare. All right. Well, you should be able to smooth that microphone just a little bit more. Uh, you know uh, what I'm talking about. If you know what uh, proximity effect is, uh, we should be able to make that proximity effect uh, work in our favor. Proximity effect says that the closer you work a microphone, uh, you will experience uh, bass buildup. And uh, so what we want to do is that we want to add a little more bottom to your audio by using proximity effect. So I would say now come closer to the microphone, uh, less 90 degrees, more direct into it, but not totally into it. If you know what I mean, kind of split the difference uh, as before you were 90 degrees to it. Uh, come uh, split the difference between 90 and uh, directly into it. You're about two well, miles wide. Why don't you back off? been a long time, but I got it at about 45 degrees. What I'll often do is I'll just turn on my uh, my remote SDR, not mine. I'll use, use web SDR and I'll get on there and I'll jump it off a of web SDR and use it from there. Uh, Roger. Well, it just does sound a little, uh, you know, upper mids. Uh, there was another station. The other station, do you have a comment? Other station, if you have a comment, go ahead. Apparently not. Apparently not. Okay, so uh, I was just thinking that, uh, you know, your uh, your audio could uh, use a little more uh, bottom end. Uh, but, uh, you know, you have a, a limited amount of things to deal with. That. You do have a compressor on that radio, do you not? Yeah, I got a compressor on it, and I use it. And I'm also sitting inside of a car, which is not the best audio studio inside of a car. It kind of really sucks. But uh, I have to work out of the car because, you know, the homeowners association will uh, take my house away because I got a, a radio. Well, David, listen, I, uh, my Elmer has been developing HOA-friendly antennas. <laughs> HOA friendly antennas those are the antennas that uh, they don't know about because they can't see them and uh, one of his antennas is uh, a dipole that uh, actually runs along uh, the roof uh, the uh, apex of the roof and you can't uh, really see it but uh, you know it uh, it does run around the uh, down the uh, length of the uh, crown of the roof and uh, you know whatever length uh, the house is uh, you know for 40 you need uh, uh, 33 feet on either side of center you know and uh, you can run that antenna nobody ever see it Roger, David. Uh, three's that way, sir. And uh, that mobile is smoking. Uh, well, what was your location again? Uh, 
Well, I, I wish you luck on that. Uh, <laughs> there's better better folks than, than I or you that uh, have tried to do that, but uh, it's almost impossible to uh, be able to keep your eye on those uh, those folks up in Washington. They, they uh, know how to, uh, well, anyway, uh, nothing we can do about it, I don't think, uh, regardless of how well we try to uh, observe the situation. David, Roger. Yeah, Alpha Charlie 3, Delta Bravo in Pennsylvania. Good afternoon, and I appreciate all the help you provide to everyone, and your videos are good, too. Alpha Charlie 3, what's the last part? Delta Bravo. In the Pennsylvania? Yeah, just north of Pittsburgh. My name's Aaron. Okay, Aaron, I'm uh, copying you at about uh, 10 to 12 dB over my noise level, and I'm copying you on uh, my north-south 10-foot uh, uh, vertical uh, mag loop antenna. Roger. Okay, good. Yeah, you're 20 over here in Pittsburgh, and I'm on an end-fed wire. Roger, Roger. Now, I'm uh, transmitting on my inverted V uh, only. Uh, transmitting on the inverted V because uh, the inverted V uh, does just such a beautiful job as far as being an efficient radiator. I did a very uh, uh, interesting test between uh, the uh, mag loop and the uh, inverted V at uh, 600 miles, and invariably the inverted V was uh, just a little bit hotter than the uh, mag loop. So, uh, why in Invent the wheel, uh, reinvent the wheel. So I just use the um, uh, the inverted V as the uh, transmit uh, element and the uh, mag loop antenna for the receive. Uh, I have noticed uh, in receive it, it uh, tends to outperform the uh, inverted V by as much as uh, uh, better uh, a less noise by 3 dB and an increase in audio uh, 7 dB over uh, what the uh, inverted V uh, can uh, uh, bring about. Roger. Yeah, Roger, it's neat to try all those different antennas and see what you can come up with. Is there, uh, is there anything I could do to my EQ? Uh, tell me about your antenna just for just for a minute. Uh, it's, it sounds really good to me. It looks dynamically, it looks about 3 dB, which is what, what you want to be. Okay, great. Thanks a lot. It's a, uh, my antenna's end fed, and it's up between two trees about 20 feet off the ground. Roger. Now, I do hear just a tad bit of distortion as if you might be overdriving your ALC. Can you see your ALC uh, as you speak? No. I don't know how to do that. Uh, you can't bring your ALC meter up uh, when you transmit? I'll have to look. I can back off the mic a little bit, though. Yeah, well, that would that would do it. But see, uh, the only way you can adjust the AOC is in the transmit mode. So uh, obviously, your AOC sh should be able to be engaged in uh, in the transmit mode. That's the only time you could actually uh, see it, Roger. Okay, I'll have to get out the book and and figure that out. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> really, uh, what radio are you running, sir? It's a Flex sixty four hundred. Uh, Roger, Roger, and. Um, uh, what's the best thing about that uh, radio that you like? I just like running the SDR and uh, the waterfall fee and all the signals. Roger. Now, is that mostly uh, computer-based, or do you actually have a radio there? No, it's all through the computer. There's just a box with a power switch on the front and some bunch of jacks in the back. Roger, Roger. Well, your audio curve uh, sounds uh, nice. I wouldn't uh, change that at all. I would just uh, look maybe at that AOC. I think you might be just a tad hot. Not a bunch, but just a tad hot. So uh, when you figure out how to bring the AOC up and transmit, uh, go ahead and just speak naturally into your mic uh, like normal and adjust your AOC for mid-scale to two-thirds. And I also suggest that you run your uh, compressor, engage your compressor, and run it at about a three. It's not a bunch. You'll never hear it operate on the air, and that's the idea. You don't want something sucking up between the words. So at a three, it's a nominal level that does uh, exactly what it should do, uh, but you won't hear it. Roger? Okay, great. Thanks a lot. Yeah, there's, uh, there's some guys in a flex group that helped me set up the EQ, because I don't really know any much about the radio, and I'll ask them about the ALC and the compression. So thanks again. 
Yes, sir. Three is that way, sir. And uh, we are recording uh, uh, since uh, 3.30. So if you want to hear what your radio sounds like now, w today, just now, uh, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, that will take you to a QSO VLOG page. And on that page, uh, you'll be looking for a QSO entitled My Group Air Check. 10 11 19 which is today's date uh, so again that uh, uh, QSO is entitled my group air check 10 11 19 and we'll have that uh, posted up uh, within uh, a couple of days roger yeah roger thanks very much yeah i've, I've watched your videos they're really good and and uh, everyone appreciates your help helping them get their uh, audio set up so thanks again roger sir three is that way and uh, you have a, a real good afternoon and a great weekend all right, thanks again, AC3DB. Uh, there was another station in there, other station, go ahead. Whiskey Bravo, Charlie Charlie 3, Alpha Zulu Tango. Alpha Zulu Tango, come back with the rest. Yeah, hello, Jim. Kilo Charlie 3, Alpha Zulu Tango. Uh, roger that, roger that. Uh, what's going on? Um, let me just check something. Okay. Uh, what's the name there? Kilo Charlie 3, uh, Alpha Zulu Tango. What's the name? Alpha Zulu Tango, you have uh, slipped uh, into my noise. Uh, you are uh, into my noise now. I, c I c can't uh, copy. Uh, let me just drop down to 100 watts and I'll show you what it is there. This is 100 watts, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Uh, 100 watts, uh, back to a KW. Uh, so, uh, Alpha Zulu uh, Tango, uh, could you uh, copy uh, what I was talking about uh, into the noise level? It did help a little bit. Uh, you did come up uh, a couple of dB, Roger. Yes, I do myself. I do myself. I am uh, inspecting my ALC, and I'm pushing it a little bit too high. Let me turn the ALC down. Uh, hello, radio. Hello, radio. Uh, AZT, you're, you are into my noise, uh, so uh, conditions have uh, have dropped out almost uh, totally. I, I could not uh, copy you uh, uh, just now. Uh, so um, let me say threes to you. Maybe uh, next Friday we'll try it again uh, with uh, better conditions prevailing. Uh, right now you were uh, uh, severely into my noise, so I'll say threes to you. And it is uh, ten minutes uh, past five, and we have been a pumpkin for the last ten minutes. We are uh, 
a pumpkin. Uh, we turn into a pumpkin at five o'clock uh, after uh, uh, our show from three thirty till five. So let me say threes to all who participated. Uh, we enjoyed it. Hope you did also and got some uh, some help uh, along the way. And if not, then maybe next Friday we can uh, try it again. Uh, between now and then, threes. Uh, catch later. And this is uh, Kilo Charlie Nine Victor Kilo Victor, and we'll be clear. Quick question, N6 ECI. Uh, go ahead, quick question. Yeah. You can help me with uh, setting up. My question today is, I had reports of a hum on the audio. Do you hear anything like that? I tell you, you, you know, right now Mother Nature is spiking you up like 20 over and then you're down to zero. Uh, so she's really playing a game right now. Uh, I didn't hear any hum when you were up, Roger. I couldn't hear it the first time. I'm copying you on the Atlanta SDR. Uh, I have a pretty good copy on you. Uh, but uh, what you need to do is, uh, you know, say, okay, uh, this is a test. I'm going to key for about five, dead key for about five seconds. Uh, see if you can hear some hum. Yeah, I can only hear the hum in a dead key, Roger. In a dead key, Roger. Okay. Well, then, here we go for five seconds of dead speed. Our dead air. I could not hear any hum at that uh, at that transmission, that last transmission during the dead air part. I could hear no hum. I could hear no hum. Yeah. Well, very good. Maybe we fixed it. I had uh, I did find a uh, mic cable uh, sitting pretty close to the wire that brings the uh, the signal into the SWR meter. So I thought maybe we were getting some some transfer there. So I've moved those apart, and maybe that was the issue. All right, Jim. I know you want to run. So uh, I shall let you, and I appreciate the, uh, the help there. 73 and 6 ECI. Okay, come back slowly, phonetically with your call sign. Phonetically with your call sign. Sure. November 6th, Echo Charlie Indian. November 6th, Echo Charlie Indian. Echo Charlie Indian. Correct. And the name? And the name? Name is Mike. South Carolina, Lake Wiley. Roger, Roger. Yeah, uh, what you want to do is try to keep your RF to the right and your audio to the left, uh, if you at all possible. In other words, uh, when you lay out your your shack, keep your your RF uh, to one side and the like a power amp. Keep it far right, and then uh, and make sure that that transmission line leaves uh, to the far right. That the transmission line does not come back through your audio table and and back out. You know what I mean? If if it requires moving the power amp to the left, <laughs> then move it to the left. But you you don't want your your power amp output to come back into your uh, your uh, operating uh, area. Roger. Uh, area, Roger. Roger. Yeah, that might have been uh, the problem here. Uh, there, there were a couple of things that were probably too close than uh, should be for comfort. So, uh, as I've got it arranged right now, we'll uh, we'll see how this goes for a while and get if, uh, see if I get any uh, further reports. But uh, yeah, appreciate the help. I did uh, hear a little hum <laughs> at that last part. Did you do anything different uh, in the last part of that transmission? Part of that transmission? No, I didn't. <laughs> okay. Um, well, first of all, uh, check it uh, right now. I'll give you five seconds. And I did have a piece of wire that I wanted to ground. Um, Hear the processor over to the radio. See if that made any difference. Another five seconds. And how'd that go? I didn't hear it as much on the last uh, as uh, I did on the front. I, I, a lot of times, are you using a desk mic? Using a desk mic? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's uh, you know, a professional condenser mic going into a, a DBX uh, mic processor. And then, so then I've got that going through uh, an attenuator and uh, impedance matching transformer into the into the mic input of this old HW101. 
Okay, uh, there is a test that, that I use uh, to uh, check out uh, how much RF and the AF I might be enduring. Uh, I have the ability for my preamp to uh, run my level, my normal level, 10 dB hotter than uh, normal. And so if I want to check out my, uh, the capabilities of my RF and the AF, I turn that 10 dB up all the way and see if I get any uh, activity as far as uh, uh, feedback or uh, uh, strangeness uh, because of the uh, RF and the AF. That's uh, a 10 dB boost over normal. And if I clear that, then I'm Katie Bar the door, Roger. Bar the door, Roger. Okay. Well, the output of my processor here is certainly a for a few seconds and crank that up about 10 dB and see what happens here. Here we go. And there we were. I did not hear it, uh, although I am coming through the Atlanta uh, SDR and you know SDRs have a way of uh, uh, compressing the signal. You hear a bunch of, uh, in other words, they run AGC uh, uh, quite heavily on the uh, SDRs, and uh, so uh, uh, when the when there's no audio excitation, uh, it kind of brings the uh, level up by itself. You, have you observed that on the SDRs? You observe that on the SDRs? Yes, they have quite the uh, quite the uh, processing on the receive. So. Uh, Roger. So, uh, I, I, for that reason, I usually uh, only use SDRs as a last uh, resort. Uh, I have spent a great deal of uh, time and effort setting up my own station to where it does not, uh, I have the RF level adjusted down to the point that there is no uh, suck up, uh, you know, and that's the only way that you can give somebody an accurate recording uh, is uh, not to be an AGC. Uh, so, uh, I try to avoid that by keeping the RF level Matter of fact, uh, I have uh, I run my AF and my RF uh, levels together as one control, and uh, it uh, tends to work out pretty well that way. And I'm usually uh, not in any kind of uh, uh, compression mode, so I can say to a person, you know, uh, they're getting a recording pretty much as close to to perfection as they can get. Uh, the receivers are pretty heavily modified and flat from uh, 100 cycles to an excess of uh, 3K, uh, as is the uh, transmitter, Roger. Is the uh, transmitter, Roger? Yeah. Well, sounds like you've uh, got it pretty well optimized there for both transmit and receive, then. That, uh, that sounds good. Well, again, uh, i got to run here, but uh, I know you're, you're running overtime on your thing here, and uh, if you were recording this, I'll, uh, I, you know, I'll give, it, uh, give it a couple of days and see if I can hear what this sounded like on your, uh, on your posting on YouTube as well. If not, look, don't worry about it. So uh, we'll catch you again next time, Jim. Sensing ECI. Roger, Mike. And yeah, if you get a chance, uh, I would drop by my local music store and get a, a phone windscreen. Uh, that takes care of uh, all kinds of mannerisms of uh, different things that uh, come out of our mouth besides words. <laughs> it uh, is great. It just uh, makes the audio absolutely perfect. So if you get a chance, uh, drop by your local music store and get yourself a, oh, a windscreen. Uh, they uh, just uh, are shorty jobbers these days and just fit uh, right over the uh, the mic and just, uh, you know, solves all kinds of problems. So uh, threes, and you have a real good uh, afternoon, great weekend, and we'll catch you later. And again, this is Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor. I will be uh, clear. Be uh, clear. Uh, OPR, go ahead. Uh, OPR, go ahead. Oh, I just wanted to tell you, you got a tremendous signal coming in here. Uh, QTH is uh, Detroit, Detroit and uh, Handles Terry, Handles Terry. To 5 and 9 plus 20, QC9 VKV over. Uh, Roger, Terry, uh, what kind of mic you been in there? What kind of mic you been in there? Uh, I come SM8, uh, electrolytic. Uh, Roger, uh, uh, tell me about your antenna system for about 10 seconds. For about 10 seconds. 170 foot end fed wire up about 50 foot with counterpoise and uh, about four ground rods. Back to you. Roger, the mic was doing something a little, a little strange. Uh, it, uh, I love your EQ. Uh, I think the EQ is just uh, perfect, uh, but it, it sounded like maybe hand noise. Is that a hand mic? 
Is that a hand mic? Oh, no, it's a desk mic. Oh, it could be picking up fan noise from the amp. That's possible. Let me turn the processor in. That uh, might be too much processing. I'm not sure. KC9 VKV WA8 OPR. Okay, uh, OPR. The problem is uh, you're getting uh, RF in your AF, and it was uh, accentuated by the uh, c compressor when you engaged it. So I would definitely not engage the compressor, and I would look for a source of uh, RF in the AF, Roger. RF in the AF, Roger. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is it uh, quite obnoxious? Uh, uh, give me a signal rate to port, too. I'm running about 800 watts back to you, Jim. Roger, I'm copying you uh, on the Atlanta SDR at uh, 8 dB above their noise level. What's your location? Level, what's your location? Uh, Detroit, Detroit, John. All right, uh, come back again. Let me see if I can copy you on my uh, uh, vertical 10-foot uh, loop. Oh, sure. Very good. Um, thanks for the... Yeah, I imagine there, there, there could be RF feedback. Uh, Heard a trace fat drumlin before, so appreciate it. But I know you say you got to run, but I just wanted to compliment you on your excellent signal. Uh, KC9 VKV WA8 OPR. Roger and uh, Terry, come back with your call sign uh, slowly, phonetically, please. Whiskey America 8, Ontario Pacific Rome operator, over. Whiskey Alpha 8, Ontario Pacific. Uh, what was the rest? Rome, Rome. Alrighty, and uh, what was the location again? Detroit. Detroit, over. Roger, Roger. Thank you, sir. And uh, I'm coughing you now uh, much better on my uh, local antenna. You're about uh, uh, 10 to 12 dB over on my uh, local antenna. Sometimes I get off on these strange uh, SDRs trying to find people, and uh, I, I don't get back to my own antenna, Roger. Sure, I understand. Very good. Well, thanks, Jim, for speaking with me and letting me know uh, you do detect a little RF. Uh, but like I said, I don't know what you're running there, but it's just booming in here. KC9 VKV, over. Roger, Roger. Terry, well, it's, a, it's a, an older uh, uh, FT990, uh, pretty highly modified, transmit and receive, uh, going into um, an SB220. Uh, up to an inverted V, Roger. Okay, very good, very good, Jim. You might want to tell me where you're located to before we uh, say goodbye, but um, great, great copy. Uh, we're running a, a, a old Kenwood TS 870 and a TL 922, about uh, 800 watts. Um, a little bit of it. KC9 VKV WA8 OPR. Roger, Terry, we're located uh, just across the Ohio River from Louisville, Kentucky. We're on the Indiana side of the Ohio River, right at uh, Louisville. Roger. Got it. Louis near Louisville, Kentucky. Very, very good. All right. Well, once again, you certainly do a nice service for everybody. I appreciate it, what you, what you do. Um, I, won't, uh, I won't hold you. I think you said you had to go somewhere. KC9, VKV, over. Uh, Roger, Terry, usually we run uh, 3.30 to 5 on our uh, Friday afternoon QSO vlog, uh, and we record all the time. We are still recording, so if you want to hear your audio, if you uh, go to YouTube and do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor, that will take you to our QSO vlog page. Right now we're running about 750 QSOs. Uh, this one is entitled My Group Air Check 10 11 19 today's date uh, my group air check 10 11 uh, 19 and we will uh, post this up on youtube uh, within the next couple of days roger well thanks jim appreciate that and um have a good day i guess you're long past uh, signing off here so i won't hold you back to you uh, Roger, Roger. Yeah, I'm running, actually running a two uh, v uh, vertical loop antennas, 10-foot vertical loop antennas. One is oriented uh, east and west, and one is oriented north and south. Uh, they come in on a three-position rotary switch where I can select uh, uh, mag loop one, mag loop two, or uh, cofays uh, where they're both together. And uh, you were uh, uh, in the uh, cofays mode about 4 dB hotter than either one of those uh, mag loops by itself, Roger. Oh, okay. 
Very good. Very good. I run two 170 footers, uh, uh, one north south and one east west, and basically work the world and with, with those wire antennas, and I multi band 160 through 10. Back to you. Oh, Roger, Roger. Yes, uh, it's uh, you know options is the name of the game. The more options you have, uh, the better off uh, things are. Roger. Oh, indeed, indeed, indeed. Okay. Um. Yeah, these tubes are getting a little bit soft on the amp. Um, I normally had 1,200 out on them, 3-500 Zs. Now they're averaging about 900, but. It's hardly worth spending five five hundred bucks to get another couple hundred watts. Back to you, Jim. Oh, Roger. Yeah, and you'll probably lose those uh, within a couple of years. Uh, uh, I'm doing just over a kW on uh, on two on this uh, SV220, Roger. Yep, I hear you. I hear you loud and clear. Okay. Well, very good, Jim. Uh, weather here, just for a report, it's uh, a little bit of rain, about uh, sixty degrees. Back to you. Roger, and I think you'll be able to hear the uh, RF and the AF uh, when you uh, go to YouTube and do the uh, call letter search uh, and uh, check out your audio. Roger. Oh yeah, will do, Jim. Will do. Appreciate it. All right, then seven three. See you. Have a very good day, and uh, see you later. Roger, Terry. Three set way, sir. Uh, have a great uh, afternoon, a beautiful weekend, and we'll uh, catch you. If you get a chance, uh, uh, check back in uh, next Friday and say hello. Uh, threes to you. And uh, th that will wrap us up <laughs> uh, for the uh, Friday afternoon QSO Vlog. We've enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully you have too. And if so, we'll see you uh, next Friday. Until then, threes, uh, this is KC9 VKV. Clear. <laughs>